So it's a shameless puff piece. A human interest story about a trusted partner. Why do I have to do it? You're the best I got. Are you actually going to Brunswick, Iowa? This is Mary Romero reporting for Christmas. Reporting for Christmas is directed by Jack C. Newell. And yes, as you may have suspected by its title, it is a brand new Christmas rom-com just in time for the upcoming holiday season. When idealistic reporter Mary Romero is assigned a puff piece about a Christmas toy manufacturer over the holidays, a charming toy maker named Blake inspires her to search her heart to find what true happiness is really about. You see, the thing about a movie such as Reporting for Christmas is that, yeah, all the general tropes you can think of are there, but they don't feel boring or repetitive. You can actually get to enjoy it, even though you may have a clear idea of how things are gonna go down. All the characters needed to get this kind of story going are here. The advisory best friend, the comedic work partner, the unexpectedly handsome romantic counterpart, even the sneaky boss played by D.V. Sweeney. Besides, all the secondary characters do a great job by letting the romantic plot take a breather from time to time. Each of them fulfill their roles in the most efficient way possible. Production-wise, all the locations really work for me. The local bar, the toy factory, the snowy streets, the small town where the story takes place becomes just another character. It helps bring in together the holiday spirit. Even though Mary is the main character who keeps the story moving forward, to me, Matt Trudeau was spot on playing Blake. He just feels natural and spontaneous, even without having too much to say. But I do feel as if the love story is a little bit rushed, especially during the first half of the movie. Sure. Reporting for Christmas may play several rom-com Christmas movie tropes by the book, but its likable characters and breezy storytelling put it one step above similar productions. While also portraying the eternal charm of small-town America and the importance of giving back to your community. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching. Reporting for Christmas is already available on Hulu. And if you're a big fan of Groundhog Day, pay close attention, because there's a cool surprise waiting for you in this movie. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel. So if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.